What if we told you that Deloitte Amsterdam built the smartest building in the world that's powered 100% by solar energy, heated by thermal energy, monitored by sensors, and 2,500 employees have no offices? Now, what if we told you that this building is 10 years old, not something currently in the making? So get your jaw off the floor and let's discuss it in today's episode of Built Up. This is The Edge. Bloomberg has dubbed it the smartest building in the world. On the Bream Sustainability Rating, The Edge scored an unprecedented 98.4%, making it the greenest building in the world. And this is the most boring part about Amsterdam's The Edge. Located in the capital of the Netherlands, The Edge is the most connected office space building in the world. Anyone working there gets to use an app that was developed by the building's main tenant, Deloitte. It's 14 stories high, and the total office space area inside covers 550,000 square feet. The entire building is covered in glass to allow maximum light penetration. Solar panels at the top and on the south wall generate sustainable electricity, while thermal aquifers provide heating throughout the winter months. Besides the sunbathe offices surrounded by greenery, the Sun Atrium is not only a space for cooperation and work, it's also the building's lungs. Secondary air from the office is passed into the atrium. At the top, the air passes through two thermal wheels where it's discarded. All the while, conditioned air is blown into the ground level. Construction of the edge started in 2011, and in just three years, it was complete. The smartest building was designed by PLP Architecture and developed by Edge. OVG Real Estate, the company responsible for building the world's smartest building, is saying that they're expecting to build other buildings like The Edge, which will only get smarter with time. Today, people flock to work for Deloitte because they want to work in this modernistic environment. As Eric Ubels, the chief information officer at Deloitte said, the building becomes a very important part of who we are and what we want to be. This consulting firm uses technology and automation from the moment you drive your car to the parking lot to the time you leave work. When you first arrive at the office, a video camera scans your license plates and recognizes who you are. You get automatic access to the garage, where you have a designated parking spot in a lot with 372. And if you're driving an electric car, you can charge it while at work. After you get out of your car, you go upstairs to the office space and you sit at your desk where you work for eight hours straight with a small lunch break in between. Wait, that doesn't sound right. That's a run-of-the-mill office building. The Edge is different. It's based on a concept called hot desking. In a regular office, everyone has an assigned desk. So if you have 1,000 employees, you need 1,000 desks. Not at Deloitte. They have around 2,500 employees, but only around 1,300 desks in total. Once you get out of your car, you open up your app and check your schedule. You choose your office based on what you're assigned to do for that day. That's right, you don't have a single work desk where you toil away throughout the day. You have work booths, meeting rooms, concentration rooms, balcony desks, sitting desks, standing desks, and so much more. Some employees just decide to work in the atrium that's bathed in sunlight. Now, wherever you decide to work from that day, your personalized app has brightness features. Those brightness settings do not refer to your phone, but to the actual lighting in your office. You just program it on your phone, and when you sit down, the lighting brightens up or dims down. You can also change your lighting preferences with a simple slide of the thumb. Do you need to use one of the smart TVs for a presentation or research? Well, you can pair your phone instantly via the app, and everyone can see your slides. But how does all of this work? Well, Deloitte was working closely with Philips, Bosman, and GS Bow to develop the connected lighting system, consisting of 6,000 LED luminaires for the edge. But these are not your everyday light panels. They're powered by Ethernet cables. This means that the light you see over your head is not just there for illumination. Every other lighting panel has a sensor that constantly measures employee movement, light, temperature, and infrared. All of these sensors are integrated into the data lake, which we'll talk about later. It's also a data hub connected to the internet. The process is made even smoother with the use of sensors, 28,000 of them to be exact. As you finish your day at the edge and head home, a small robot that looks somewhat like R2-D2 begins patrolling the halls. But you don't head home straight away. No, you head over to the recipe builder. 
This is where you stand in front of an entire menu of delicious dishes. Use your phone to scan the QR code and get a fully developed recipe. All you need to do is measure and pack the appropriate ingredients needed for the dish and then you can go home and cook it. This is another way Deloitte's building helps its employees maintain a healthy lifestyle. The majority of the building's electricity needs are supplied by the solar panels on the roof of the building and the strategically placed solar panels on the edge's south wall. This network of solar panels is enough to power the building, the charging ports in the parking lot, the computers, smartphones, and everything Deloitte's employees need. Does that include heating? Well, heating is handled differently in the edge. There are two giant 400-foot holes bored right underneath the building. These holes pump warm water into the aquifer and deposit it into the thermal storage pumps. The water sits here during the summer, and come winter time, the water is sucked back out to warm the office space. From the outside, this building seems like any other. The orientation of the edge is based on the sun's path. The north side of the building allows sunlight to permeate the office spaces during the day. On the southern side, there are solar panels that shield the workspaces from the sun while generating electricity at the same time. Now, the atrium wasn't created just to provide ventilation for the building. It also optimizes heating. If the building were a regular square and the walls were heated up, the center would always remain cold. By hollowing out the north wall and turning it into an atrium, office floors are slimmer. When the building is heated, all areas heat up evenly leaving the atrium hollowed out and heated naturally by sunlight and the residual heat from the inside walls. To achieve this, a lot of tweaking and optimizations had to be made on the actual shape of the atrium. This is the first time we've heard it, but beehives and bat caves are built on the premises. The company wants to support the pollinators of local plants. All of the gardens are watered using rainwater, which is collected inside giant reservoirs. And the water that's not used for irrigating the gardens is used to flush the toilets. And all of this is managed and monitored by the data lake inside the edge. Now, if the internet of things could ever come to life, the edge would be what it looks like. The Edge is a pioneer in IoT buildings because every aspect of the building's technology is upgradable. This means that everything inside the Edge will be here for years to come, provided Deloitte keeps upgrading the buildings. And that's only part of the story. The Edge collects user data and uses it to improve itself. This way, anytime someone uses their app to access a desk, locker, the Philips LEDs, or their parking spot, it's powered into the giant data hub called the Data Lake. This data lake is also flooded with input from the building itself, including how users interact with the building, how much of the building employees use, the energy use of the building, and the management of its facilities. Data from both the building and its users is fed into the data lake, along with a third data source from Amsterdam, like weather, traffic, and energy data. This data is processed by Deloitte Data Analytics. The information is then presented to the facility manager on the dashboard, allowing them to know everything about how the building is used. Once the data is processed and patterns are detected, the building optimizes itself based on real-life information and how users, employees, interact with the edge. For example, when an office floor is empty, all of the lights are switched off automatically while ventilation is reduced to a minimum. So, would you like to work in an office like this or would you prefer working from home where you have endless freedom? Now, here's another video mega project enthusiasts enjoyed watching. Bye for now.